I don't know why I'm more uh, I'm more uh, surfer surfer Rebecca today. I don't know why. We're just chilling. We're vibing today. You know. I don't know. Has that felt like it's been? I don't know. You. I've been vibing as summer is coming to an end. How about you guys? I'm vibing. Thank no one asked you. Uh, you what? All right. <laughs> Time for another video. <laughs> I already knew that Suds was going to put up Tucker and Sarah just because they're better at the game than I am. With Suds putting me on the block, honestly, that was really expected. Like, we all knew it was going to be Tucker and I, or at least one of the combinations of the coaches. He's always been wanted the coaches out, so it wasn't really surprising. And I think I said last week in my DR that we all knew it was going to happen. And I was, I sort of was happy that it was interesting that he won, so then we could start like dwindling down on the coaches because I don't think we would have the heart to do it to each other. Yeah. This competition is called Hurling Pearls and this is how it works. Each of you will be allowed to one practice throw and three throws to get points. Whoever gets the highest collective score will win the power of veto. Are you ready to play Hurling Pearls? Yes! Flashbacks. So this is not practicing anymore? No, this is the first round. Remember, oh, you got throws. this, Mariah. Ooh, a little I bit landed far, on the same one. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Mariah. Watching with a six point already. Okay, I'll get off. Mad. Yep, go ahead. Get to the other side. All right, who is next? Sarah. Ooh, Ooh Sarah with a six. Remember, this is going to be best points out of. Three. Three? Okay. What was that? All right, next one up. Oh, I got a blue, like a light blue. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Let's go. Light blue team. Everyone else should also get light blue. Yes. I got no the pressure. same color. Light blue? No, regular. I got regular blue. Yeah, good. Eight. Nice. <laughs> next is Suds. Ah, uh, sure. That was terrible. Ooh, Suds with the light blue. Everyone's oh, light blue Emmett. except for Tucker. Emmett had a very good practice, Emmett. Let's Wait, see. What Let's was my there. point? Eight. Oh. Oh. Uh, light blue? Oh, Emmett with the light blue. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> All right, so we've got this first round with everyone, with the exception of Tucker having six points. Tucker, Tucker had with eight. eight. Yeah, like, oh. okay. Does anyone else want to go again? Or, like, first, or? Not Mariah, you're up. Oh. No. Oh, no. Mariah with the green. <laughs> Not as good as her first round, but still a decent amount of points with four more. All right. Mariah, given a, you know, an average start to the second round, let's see if Sarah can increase it. This really is just a chill day for better. Oh Ooh, my god. Light blue once again. We get at another least, one of those and we're gonna have a At least I'm accurate. Don't even come at me. Alright, alright, Tucker, Tucker Tuck. Tuckster. Tuck Tuck. Ooh. Ooh. Tucker. Oh. Tucker oh. Oh. Ooh. Tucker's our first to get purple, oh. but hopefully Sud's not the last. Oh, that's a fortune. Ooh, but another light blue. We love them light blues. And Emmett, you did real good first. I'm just following in my coach's footsteps. Okay, with a second. Ooh, <laughs> Emmett with the one point. I don't know if you guys saw that, but oh. Emmett beefed it. Sud is coming here for blood today. All right, oh. Mariah. Oh. Mariah with the purple. Dang. Yes! Yes! Mariah, 
is currently in the lead of the most amount of no! points. No! Well, that's just not fair. She went first. Well, yeah. Well, see, <laughs> Sarah, for can now. You, I don't know, Sarah. Can you follow up that? I was so close. There's no <gasps> way I'm gonna win. Sarah with the purple. This Ooh. time I got. Yeah, let's I go. I feel like for dramatic tension. Nah, Tucker, you go. You go. I'm scared. I'm gonna be the one that doesn't get. Purple. Tucker got purple last yeah. round. Let's see. I got light purple. blue. Finally, a light blue. All right, Suds, let's see. Oh. I'm so good at the game. What'd you get? Light blue. Yeah. Consistency. We love consistency. All right, Emmett, come on. Come on, can you bring us back, Emmett? <gasps> Oh, damn it with the two points. Oh no, and oh, killed himself oh. in despair. You guys ready for the scores? Everyone, yeah. I will be standing oh. here dramatically. Oh. <laughs> Nine points. We have Emmett. As he, as he runs. With oh. 18 points, we have Sud. I'm just so Woo! good at my fingers. With oh, 20 oh points, <laughs> we have Mariah. What? And with Fine. 22 oh. points, we <laughs> have Sarah. Woo! That means that Tucker with 24 points. Wait, I wonder if Mariah. Wow, Mariah. Mariah had like the same exact. Because you were well, you were in the lead. Ah! <laughs> no, Mariah had so Mariah had a six and a four and then a ten. Yeah. Sarah at least had a six and a six and then a ten. But you, oh. with your strong start of an eight and a ten, were able to balance it out with a six. That's math. That's math for you. But congratulations. Oh. I'm taught Daniel how to do math. <laughs> oh. <laughs> congratulations again, Tucker. You have won the power veto. The competitions were really fun, though. I love the veto. The veto competition, um, I could have, if I didn't try to go so hard, then I probably would have gotten a little bit better of a score. Yeah, no, I liked it. It was really colorful. I liked it a lot. You, what's your gut say? I want to say myself, but the thing is like, Sarah. <laughs> oh, it, it's final five, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, she has to make it past this week. She only has to go past this week because, like, in, in season one, she left. She was part of Final Five, and she went home this week. So the reason why I called you into the room, uh, obvious. You put me on the block. Um, uh, Low-key, I expected it, but, like, that doesn't really matter. My thing is, Tucker's obviously going to use the veto on himself. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to put Mariah up? I'm putting up who I want to put up. I hate that answer. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, if you were here to listen to the reason I nominated you, you'd understand. I nominated you because you didn't talk to me anytime you won HOH. Didn't tell me anything that was going on. I just voted whoever the I wanted to both those weeks. Uh, so I see no reason to give you information of what I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. That's valid. But also, on another point, you never came to me, so... Hey, I don't need to go to people. I wasn't even here half when you were HOH. Uh, I had to figure out the plan through other people half the time. And then when I did try and come to you, like when you won HOH, and then I asked you to play Bedwars so that we could play Bedwars and then maybe talk a little game. Who knows? You, just you literally me. just you, you literally just said, "Hey, let's play Bedwars." That does not count. That could have been the, like, "Hey, no, I mean, you didn't want to talk. You didn't even want to talk to me for like a week. It, 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 like, I don't know. Why does the renom matter? That's the thing. No, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. The only time, the last two times you've spoken game to me was when I won veto and now when I won HOH. When did you win veto? You tried to convince me to either use it on Tucker or don't use it at all, along with Tucker and Mariah in the call. Not gonna lie, I don't really have any recollection of that, well, but I, I feel yeah. like that would have happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to leave because uh, if you do not want to talk to me, oh, wait, wait. Uh, I think. Hey, feel free to ask me to play Bedwars. I'll ignore you for a week. You already made up your mind? I already made up my mind. Okay, okay. Do you, do you remember season one? We don't talk about that. That was <laughs> like, I was like six, 
I think I was nominated. Actually, no. I think I, yeah. It, like, it was like, it was this week. You really? were part of yeah. You were part of final five. Oh yeah. Because then it went to with me, Josie, and Andrew. What a time! What a time! What a time! All right. So this is the veto ceremony. Sarah and I myself have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of us. I'd like to give Sarah the chance to tell me why I should use the veto to save you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's because of oh. a single bit. Ring, ring. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't have anything prepared for this, but um, honestly, I think you should stay true to your heart because no matter what you do, I we still I will still be your friends. Uh, I will we will still have this awesome bond. Uh, we'll still be one of the coaches. We will be uh. trying to through the coaches. So honestly, I would say go with your heart. Go with what you want to do because I feel like my words will not be fully truthful uh, if I tell you what to do. I'm gonna pull the Mariah and Turtle, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> With that, I have chosen to use the power of veto on you, Sarah. Oh my God. Aww. I feel like I just won an Oscar or like an award or something. Like I'm walking down the, the, the red singular carpet Oh my, oh my God. Oh my right. God. So before I continue with the book, the reason why is because, yes, you went last season, but this was the season, our season, where you went home. So, to make it past it. Aww. <laughs> you know? I'm not and, no crying. And also, a lot of cops, not like um season one. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback. So basically, I do feel redeemed that I deserve my win. Oh my god. The, a, a wholesome moment in, in Big Brother Minecraft right here. I've come to terms that I'm ready to go home. Aww. Okay, I was not gonna cry this <laughs> season. Come on! <laughs> Suds, or not Suds, since I have vetoed one of your nominations, you will have to choose a new house as a replacement nominee. I nominate Tucker again. Uh, oh. you, you, know, you need to be on the block twice for calling me Emmett, right? That's just, that just hurts my pride. <laughs> I have little bit of pride already, and you just hurt it even more. Here, so one of you two. Um, oh, I'm gonna nominate Mariah. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I can't get out that easy. With that, this veto meeting is adjourned. Oh my God, so like you're actually okay with like going home a hundred percent? Mm-hmm. Like. Mariah, what's what's your opinion about this? Because I have to, I have to vote I now. Was, oh my I gosh! Was, I was also, <laughs> I was also thinking, if I were, if you were to go home, me and Mariah are for sure gonna win. Like, gonna make sure Emmett wins. Oh yeah. You're the only like super like strong one to make sure Emmett wins. Basically, Mariah, like you said, isn't really good. Which I don't want to put her down, but she does do good at some things. But she's very so she's a social gamer. And I said she is another, like, just another little stepping stone to get basically where you or Emma need to go. Okay. And basically, also, this next week is the week you need to win. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. No pressure whatsoever. Okay. It's because it's the final three next after next week. So if you, yeah. next, if you win HOH for next week, you basically solidify your spot. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, this is stressful. At least Suds can't play. And like honestly, oh god, I have I can't wait to talk to Emmett about plans. Those two, I know. Cause I was like saying like, oh, cause like Emmett, I was saying like how you and Mariah need to like, cause like you never know Suds can like, even though they're friends now, Suds can totally turn on him, get him out. But then I was like, but they can also have a final two together. It's not like a you can't really see it, but it's probably there. Trust. Suds's trust is literally only in Emmett. Yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, and obviously, like Emmett definitely does trust Suds as well. Cause I there hasn't been like any um, like comps that like rely on your memory on like who's been out and stuff. So I'm really worried about no. that. Well, who's been out? But I don't remember like the I'm order. Still the, of people I'm still in out. the game. I could basically yeah. help you. Here, I'll give you the oh order. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you. I don't know 
why Sarah really expected me to tell her what I planned on doing this week. Like, she said that I didn't care enough to go and reach out to her to try and speak to her. But it's kind of hard to do that in the game when every time she wins HOH, she immediately drags Tucker and Mariah into the HOH room and then sits there the entire time until nominations happen. I get nothing. I get no time to speak to her. She's just talking to the coaches. Uh, literally every time she won HOH, it was just the coaches week. They chose what happened. So whatever. Um, Tucker, I don't know why he did that to himself. I don't know why he willingly is getting fifth place right now. Because uh, even if Sarah votes out Mariah, so Emmett's still going to vote out Tucker because Emmett's had it out for Tucker this whole time. And I'm going to vote out Tucker over Mariah because I can't beat Tucker in the end. I also uh, knew that if, uh, you know, Sarah or Tucker leave, like they use the video on them, then I was going to go up because why would he put up Emmett? That would be insane of him. It's coming to an end for us coaches. It definitely is. We all know it. We're all prepared. We've done our dues, I think. At this point, we are slowly going to leave and we're going to help Emmett win. And that's that. Tucker winning veto. I did think he would use it on himself because honestly, like most people do. And I don't see a reason why he wouldn't. Um, because I've played my game. Honestly, I really do think it was like Mariah and I. I feel like I could have totally like wiggled to um, have like, because Emma and I have gotten like really close. Like, I feel like I totally could have like maybe used some wiggle room to not be voted out. Honestly, I'm happy I didn't need to do that. With Tucker actually using it on me, I was definitely a little bit surprised, but not completely because. Honestly, I feel like if I won veto, I probably would have done the same thing. And this like season, this game, like especially today, I feel like it really showed that I actually had people I was loyal to. I can see Tucker's reason w on why he kept me. And I know Suds is probably not gonna be happy about it because I feel like Suds wanted me out. And wanted, well, at least T he definitely wanted Tucker and I out the most. I feel like he maybe wanted me out a little bit more because when I was talking to him in H2H, I, I, that's true, I didn't ever really speak to him on uh what i was doing when i was in hoh i had my own plans my own things and he was honestly just a pawn to me like yeah like he's pretty cool and all but like he never fit into my plan and so honestly to me he's still like suds is still like a floater but he did get this far honestly i'm not mad with how it goes i don't know why i was gonna say my goal yet i think i'll say that like once i find out who actually gets evicted tomorrow because I still don't know what I want to do yet. Well, I am. This will be my last DR. Um, so basically, I, me and Sarah got put up on the blog today. I didn't see a reason why. I am a salty loser. I'm competitive. <laughs> so that's the reason why, because such um, was like, you saw, I saw that you were mad that I won, which I to show to me that you're gonna put me up, which I was gonna put him up. Well, because only him and Emmett always joke around, joke about being on the block together. That was the only reason why I was gonna put Suds up. But it was like a funny little thing to hide it. But me and Sarah were up on the block. The veto comp was just like season one where we had to throw Ender Pearl onto a color to get points. It was pretty fun. I loved it. I got the veto. I had a very serious talk with Mariah because it was me and Sarah. We were season one together. We're back again playing together, which I love. This week, Sarah did go home in our season. So I was like, I kind of want Sarah to get past it. Even though she won last season, it still was like, it was a me and her thing. So for me, I wanted her to get past this week. Since being able to get back into the game, I was only in it for a redemption. To show that I did deserve my season one win, which at first, I was like, no, I need to win this season to be able to prove that I deserve to win. But, I was going to Mariah, I did win a lot of comps. After winning these comps this season, it really made me feel like I did deserve the win. It is now me and Mariah up against each other. I will be gunning to let myself go home. This is my last DR. Signing out.